I've been a truck driver for 33 years. I don't like just getting up and driving to the factory downtown, working eight or 10 hours, driving back home every day. That's not for me. When I found out that they needed truck drivers in Iraq, it's just like a light bulb went off. I told my wife, this is what I want to do. It might not have been the best thing for my family, but it's something that I needed to do for me at that time in my life. I needed to give something back to my country. You know, I was 43 years old, and this was an opportunity that I was not going to miss. We were based out of the Camp Anaconda, just north of uh, Baghdad. We were truck drivers in the States, but none of us have, have uh, driven a truck in a war zone. April 9th was the one-year anniversary of the fall of Baghdad. All right, I need you guys to focus and do what you do best. During our safety briefing with our military escorts, they said, we've got some extra shooters uh, we can put in your trucks. And we're going to do what we do best, which is protect you. That had never happened before. We had 19 trucks, civilian trucks. I mean, I was apprehensive. We had a lot of trucks that were hit with IEDs there. And as I'm going into this area, I knew that this is where these things could happen. If anything is going to happen, it's going to happen on this stretch of highway right here. Almost immediately. Slam! Iraqi insurgent. As AK pointed at me, got me up, started across the road, and, and I looked down this alley, and it's just a whole stream of, of insurgents there. And I'm thinking, this is a done deal. I'm, I'm a dead man. These guys just walked up to me. This car just, just pulls in that. This was my first day in captivity. I woke up, and, and I'm, I'm hearing helicopters off in the distance. I looked up and I saw a piece of, just a piece of wood hanging down from the rafter, and I, I reached up and got a hold of it with my left arm, and I pulled down as hard as I could. I, I grabbed that timber and I shoved it through that hole, trying to get out, because these helicopters I'm hearing, they're moving. I've got to get out of it. And I gave it a big shove, pushed it one side, and the door pushed open, and I ran out. Two big Chinooks were, were headed in my direction. I'm going home today.